I don't believe this. Well, there'll be lots of other boys, honey. Nice boys. Won't be nice and Dean. Well, you'll just love them in a different way, Dan. Well, you knew this guy was dead from the beginning? Yeah, why do you think I tried to unload the salt-free chips on him? Well, in the future, would you please give me a clue before I let some strange guy listen to my knee? Here's the way it works, Dan. The next guy you hate, he's the keeper. I hate that poker game. That's good, Dan. Get yourself out there. Get on with your life. <laughs> well, at least I'll know what to do when this happens with Darlene. Look how cute you are. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Poor guy. I think I have a clue. Yeah, it's like somebody moved his food dish. <laughs> well, I guess we better get going. Yeah, what are we doing tonight? Well, it was Crystal's pick, so she's got us going to some self-help seminar. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you know how Crystal is lately. She's a basket case, so she needs to network with other basket cases. Yeah, what are supposed to do? Well, we'll just sit up there in the back and make fun of everybody. <laughs> How's your back? Mm, pretty good. You going to physical therapy? Yeah, twice a week, and I'm sticking on my diet. I'm doing all right. Yeah? What about your exercise? <sighs> what about your love life? <laughs> I'll get it. Hey. Hi, Mark. Can you tell Becky I'm here? Um, Becky isn't home right now, Mark. Her car's out front. She's not home. She out with that Dean guy? Well, I don't know if that's any of your business, Mark. I'm going to be in the kitchen. Well, have you been telling her that I called? Yes, Mark. Yeah, I'm sure you have. What, are you calling me a liar? Hey, I got a husband and a boss. I have no need to lie to you. <laughs> so why didn't she call me back then? Well, maybe she doesn't want to call you back, Mark. Maybe when she said it was over, it really was over. And like you didn't have anything to do with that either. Like you don't run her whole life. Oh, you think she listens to me? Come on, you've had it in for me since day one. Always put me down, calling me a jerk. Yeah, and the more names I called you, the more money I had to shell out for birth control pills. You won't admit it, will you? You're the reason we broke up. If once you treated me decent, hey, me and Becky... I would have treated you like a king if you would have shown my daughter any respect. If you just once had thought about her before you thought about yourself, well, you wouldn't need to be here right now trying to blame this whole thing on me, would you, Mark? Now quit wasting my time and get out of my house. Fine. Whoa. You really nuked him. I don't know, Jackie. Gee, I've been dreaming about laying into that punk for a year and a half, you know? I finally get the chance, and I forgot to make fun of his hair. Oh, Dad, I wish you would respect the fact that I don't eat meat. What are you talking about? This pepperoni. It's meat, and I don't think an animal should have to die just to feed us. Oh, come on, Darlene. This stuff's made out of the hair, the teeth, and the tail. <laughs> Nothing a little pig you can't live without. Yeah. Uh, flowers for Becky Connor. Okay, thanks. Becky! Who do you think those are from? Who else? Dean Dean, the son-in-law machine. <laughs> hey, Rosie, come on out here. Hurry up. What? Looky here. Oh, Dan, you actually remembered Valentine's Day? Yeah, just now. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. What you're going to get me is going to be way better than that. <laughs> These are from Mark. No, it can't be. Yeah, listen to this. Dear Becky, thinking of you first for a change. I love you, Mark. <laughs> too little, too late, huh, Becky? <laughs> Let me go find something to put these in. Man, this is all your fault. You shouldn't have called her down here till you changed that card. You wouldn't have sent them flowers if you hadn't given that big speech about respect. Hey, if you would have fired him, he wouldn't be able to afford them damn flowers now, would he? <laughs> All right, old stupid's coming back. We don't know that. Dad, thanks for not firing him. You were so right. <laughs> and you thought he was a jerk. <laughs> Remember me? I, I played Dean in tonight's episode of Roseanne. Now, I don't know about you, but I thought that Dean was the kind of character that I'd like to see again. Mark, he's all wrong for Becky. And Dean can make her happy. And there's no reason Becky couldn't fall in love with Dean. They just have to write it that way. So, if you feel like I do, let's, let's bring Dean back. You can make a difference. 
just drop a card or, or, or make a phone call. Or, hey, or... aren't you supposed to be washing my car? Hey, keep your pants on. I'm talking here. Uh-oh. <laughs>